Hi, and welcome to How to Calibrate a Tension Link. In this video, we are going to discuss the top three steps to yield repeatable results. Use the appropriate pin size. If the pins have any irregular sizing, label the top and bottom and note the position, and use the appropriate equipment and adapters. Number one, use the appropriate pin size. For calibration accuracy, the pin diameter used for calibration should match the use. If the pin size is different than that was used during calibration in actual use, there will be large errors. And we mean significant errors, as Morehouse has observed readings that are about 20 times that of the manufacturer's specification by just varying the pin size. This slide shows an example of these errors. Here we show on the left, uh, not using the proper diameter, and the instrument is out of tolerance, a 50,000 pound instrument out of tolerance by 860 pounds of force, or 1.72%. And then on the right, using the proper pin diameter, and the instrument reads what it should at capacity. In general, pin diameter and the clevis hole size must be a close fit. And for safety, always use the manufacturer's recommended pin diameter. Pins smaller than recommended can cause failure. Number two, if the pins have any irregular sizing, label the top and bottom and note the position. Here we have pin A and pin B. You can see they're marked Q1 to Q3 and Q2 to Q4. You can see the differences in diameter. In the next slide, we're gonna show you what happens with these differences. Here's a graph of 24 measurements where the tension link, we've randomized the top and bottom pins. When we randomize the pin location and orientation, 13 of 24 measurements did not meet the specification of plus or minus 50 pounds at capacity. If you want to maintain specification, you'd likely need to label the top and bottom pins. Number three, use the appropriate equipment and adapter. Here's a setup in our Morehouse Universal Calibrating Machine with the tension link, the tension member assembly, uh, tension member adapter goes into our clevis set and then the tension link is pinned into that. We have developed a lot of time and effort to patent our tension member adapter set shown here. This set can do the majority of tension links and other instruments such as crane scales, dynamometers, and everything else. The major benefit to the set is it's one set of clevises with several different pin sizes, as we've discussed why pin size is so critical in step number one and number two. Do you have questions on how to calibrate a tension link or any other force measuring device? Please contact Morehouse by phone 717-843-0081, by email info at mhforce, or on the web at mhforce.com.